Shout out to Liquid Death, best water in the game. Liquid Death, I know you're not watching this, but I greatly appreciate if you guys sent me a case. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wing Stop Hoppy. We are back today with another video. As you can see, just spilled water all over this jacket. You're probably wondering why am I wearing this jacket inside? And that is because we are doing an updated six month review on this jacket right here, which is the Arteryx Beta LT jacket in this beautiful olive green colorway. I was just on Instagram the other day and someone actually DM'd me and they wanted to update a review of this jacket. So I decided there's probably more people than just him that wanted to update a review. So I figured why not make an update a review? My last video on this jacket was when I first got it, which was about six months ago. That video has got like 13,000 views on YouTube. And honestly, the lighting in that video is not that great. So I apologize once again. Hopefully today it's a little better, but regardless, we're doing an update review. I'm gonna tell you what I like about this jacket, what I don't like, and if it's worth your money, because I know we're in the spring season, and the spring it rains a lot. People are gonna be looking for rain jackets. So I'm gonna let you know if you should go out and drop 400 bucks on this jacket. But before I do, please hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram down below. I posted a few fit pics in this jacket, so if you wanna go see it, check out the gram. You will not be disappointed. But regardless, let's get right into the video. So starting off, we're going to talk about sizing of the Arteryx Beta LT because that's probably one thing you guys want to know right off the bat. For sizing, I'm 5'10", 195 pounds. I'm wearing a size large. I feel like this thing fits perfectly. I will say the sleeves run a little bit long. So if you don't like the long sleeves, you don't like this crinkled up look where it just kind of bunches up, then maybe try going a size down but I do have broader shoulders, so I want the extra room in my shoulders. This is a trim fitting jacket, and honestly, I feel like this fits pretty perfect. So I would go true to size. However, like I said, maybe if you're a little shorter, you could go down probably a size and be okay, as long as you're not like wide in the upper body or anything. So take that in mind. But if you have any more additional questions about sizing, feel free to comment on the video. I'll try to find you the best possible size for you. All right, so let's get into the pros and cons of the Arteryx Beta LT jacket. The first con in this jacket is gonna be the retail price, which is $400. It's pretty expensive for a rain slash wind jacket. There's no denying that. So that's gonna be the first con. The second con that comes with the $400 price tag is that there is no third pocket. The pockets you see right now are the only two pockets you're getting on this jacket. For some odd reason, my Adam LT hoodie and my Gamma LT jacket both have inside pockets. This one, as you can see, does not have inside pockets. It's not the end of the world, but for $400, I think you deserve at least three pockets in a jacket. It's really all I'm going to say about that. It's very disappointing, but I will say the pocket, the two front pockets that you do get with this jacket, you can fit keys, wallet, phone in here. It is what it is, but like I said, you can def they definitely should have put a third pocket in for the retail price. My third con in this jacket, someone pointed this out, is that the arms do run a little long, as you can see right here. And I don't know, I, this really isn't a con for me, but someone pointed it out, so I wanted to make a point of it. They said that this jacket looks sloppy because I had the cuffs, because if you don't have the cuffs on this jacket, it's... It's pretty long, like it goes over your half your hand pretty much. So for me, I'm only 5'10", I gotta cuff this thing. So this jacket is definitely made for people with long arms, which I don't think I have long arms. But like I said, you do have the adjusters right here, so you can stop it from going over your hand. But someone said they don't like this like crinkled up look, however you wanna call it. It doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, then you're not gonna like this jacket. My fourth con is gonna be the hood. Now, I do love this hood. However, if you don't have it adjusted properly and say you're just like walking into a store real quick and you're like in a downpour and it's windy, you gotta, stick, you gotta take time to adjust this thing because the hood normally is so big. If it gets in any gust of wind, it's just gonna, it's just gonna come right down like a bad tent or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, the hood is kind of too big for the average person. Now, saying that, this is, a, this is a helmet capable hood, so it is meant to be big for people who use this for like bike riding, rock climbing, etc. Whatever you would wear a helmet for, so I get that. But for the common person not using a helmet on a regular basis, I feel like this hood is way too big. Like I said, you can't adjust it, obviously, so it doesn't 
come down on you if you're in like rain or wind. But just going through that process every time, especially if you're making like quick movements and you're just like running in somewhere in a rainstorm, it is kind of annoying. So I guess that would be a con. But yeah, that's all the cons I have. So let's move on to the pros. All right, so let's talk about some of the pros of this jacket. The first pro of this jacket for me is the fact that this jacket is super lightweight. Also, I love the trim fit of this jacket. It feels super good when you're wearing it. And even with the layering, it still feels like super trim. It never gets too bulky. I love that in a jacket like this because it truly has a really unique fit because some of my like, for example, my North Face mountain jacket, that thing is like a tank compared to this. Like this would be like a sports car compared to that jacket. And the fact that that jacket is so bulky and this thing just has this slim, sleek design. So that's what I love about this jacket. And that's why I love wearing it so much just because it's super comfortable, lightweight, and honestly, sometimes it doesn't even feel like you're wearing a jacket outside just because it is so lightweight. And like I said, it just feels really good. I can't emphasize that enough. Second pro of this jacket is the overall durability, the waterproofness, the windproofness. I wore this hiking in 50 mile per hour winds coming in off the lake. I had no issues with this thing. I only had a t-shirt underneath and this thing performed like a beast against the wind. Like I said, performed super well. I wore this thing in numerous downpours. I've been completely dry as far as my upper body goes. Wish I had the Beta LT pants to go with it. I would have been completely dry. But yeah, in rainstorms, windstorms, I performs like a beast. Even more than winter with a nice warm layer underneath. And I was super toasty. It kept me like pretty much a little bit too warm, honestly. I went for like a walk in like 23 degree weather and I had my Adam LT on underneath. I had this over and I was honestly cooking when I got home from my walk. So definitely if you layer this right, this jacket will keep you warm. So definitely the overall performance, durability, A plus for this jacket, honestly. It kind of does make up for the high retail price the way this jacket performed. Another good pro with this jacket in terms of performance is that this jacket for a Gore-Tex jacket is super quiet. Now, if you guys haven't had a Gore-Tex jacket in the past, some Gore-Tex jackets can be super loud when you wear them due to the material. Every time you move, it makes a noise. Some are louder than others. I would say for the most part, this jacket's pretty quiet, and this is three-layer Gore-Tex. So for the material used for this jacket, pretty quiet jacket, which I do like. So I don't know about you, every time I make a movement, I don't want my jacket to make some loud ass noise. Now, is this jacket worth your money? If you're looking for a new spring rain jacket and you came to me and be like, hey, should I spend $400 on the Arterix Beta LT? I'm gonna tell you straight up, if you just want a basic ass rain jacket, I would probably say no, this jacket is not worth it. Just because I don't think a, per, a common person should overspend and buy this jacket. I would say if you don't plan on hiking or, or doing like outdoor activities where you need a jacket like this, I would say probably not. Definitely not worth the $400. I would recommend some other rain jackets because there's plenty of rain jackets out there that will get you from walking from your car to the grocery store or whatever. So definitely, if you're not gonna do any of those outdoor activities, then I probably wouldn't recommend it. Keep it 100% honest with you guys, this jacket's probably too much for me even because I do go hiking, but it's not like I go hiking every single week. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna go hiking every single week. I'm gonna go a few times a year, but I'm not like an avid outdoorsman per se. So yeah, could I got away with not buying this jacket? Yeah, did I kind of buy into the Arcteryx hype when I bought this jacket? Also yes. Do I like this jacket though? Yes. But if you came to me and be like, hey, I need a new spring rain jacket, I would probably recommend a way cheaper option because if you're just looking for a rain jacket and you live in an area where it doesn't downpour a lot, it's just occasionally spring showers, you don't need a three layer Gore-Tex shell for that. You can use pretty much any random rain jacket with good material. I know Patagonia has a three layer jacket that's only $150. So it's $300 less than this one. I would recommend checking that one out. But yeah, you don't need a $400 rain jacket. I know I kind of just sound like I wasted my money on this jacket. I do like it, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I gotta keep it real. Arcteryx isn't paying me to say this or make this video. I'm keeping it real, but like I said, if you go out hiking a lot, you're very active outdoors, you do rock climbing, maybe you do like cycling, then yeah, go out and get this jacket. I highly recommend it. But just for the common average person, 
I would recommend the cheaper option. But at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do with your money. It's only my suggestion. I like this jacket a lot, but like I said, it's a lot of money, so take it into consideration. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.